Hi, I'm Alex Lynn, and I'm the Williams Racing Development Driver. I started racing when I was about 11 years old in karting, and then graduated into uh, Formula cars when I was 16. Um, and then, yeah, I've been progressing ever since then. GP3 champion, uh, Macau Grand Prix winner. Um, so I've been lucky enough to win some nice races and to be a champion uh, on a few occasions. So it's, so it's nice and um, I think it's helped uh, my role in, uh, in Williams. Now up into GP2 and the Williams F1 development driver. GP2 is um, just the step below Formula One. Um, you know, we have pit stops, we have different tyre strategies, we race all the European Grand Prix plus Abu Dhabi. So, it, you know, it's a real nice immersion into Formula One and, you know, we're all fighting out to try and get onto the grid as soon as possible. I uh, tested a Formula One car for the first time last year in Abu Dhabi. Um, so that was a pretty special experience driving for the first time. I mean, you drive out of the pit lane. In, under the lights in Abu Dhabi, it's always a cool experience, but certainly driving a Formula One car was a, an amazing feeling. So yeah, my, my role in Williams is, which funnily enough rolls in quite nicely to play in the game, is you know a lot to do with the simulator and developing the car on the simulator, and so that when a big upgrade package comes on the car, I go and test the simulator to make sure everything becomes realistic there. This is a seriously difficult thing to do, is to make a, a virtual reality car feel like a, a real car, and mainly that comes down to the tyres. It's quite impressive to see how close you actually managed to get. The graphics help, obviously. Uh, the new tyre model is a big improvement. Instantly gives you a better feeling um, and is much more in line with what you'd expect uh, compared to real life and where the, the current simulators are as well for, for the F1 teams. Doing my first laps today around Barcelona, a track I know really well, uh, a track I've covered uh, in all sorts of different cars uh, and in current F1 machinery as well. Um, albeit simulation based, um, but it's, it's impressive for me to see kind of how close you've got. It's, it was funny for me to, to play it and pick different points on the track which feel quite familiar. Uh, the time model is, is, I think, the biggest improvement. I mean, graphics, sure, you know, on, on, the, on the current generation consoles, it's, you know, you, you expect that step up. Um, being able to feel that, that edge of the tyre, you know, that where, where it breaks away and you lose that, that either the traction or the, uh, or, or the slip of the tyre. That's what it's all about for the tyre management these days. So having that chance to feel it in the game is important. Um, and that's one area where I felt a big improvement. Hello, I'm Pascal Wehrlein, reserve driver for Mercedes-AMG Petronas Formula One team. 2003 I started with karting and um, I did karting till 2010 and I won four times in a row the German Championship. Um, then I went into single seaters 2010 um, into Formula ADSC. It's Formula 4 now and uh, I won my second year. Um, after that I went into Formula 3 Euro Series. It's a European Championship. Um, I was second in my first year and after that um, I went into DTM. It's my th uh, third season now uh, for Mercedes and my second season in the Formula One team as a reserve driver. It was always my dream to be a Formula One driver and um, I think you always have to believe in yourself that you can do it. But still the first day when you are in the car, in the Formula One car, is, is amazing and it's a day you will never forget. This year I, I've done some more testing. So last year I did two days. I did one day in Portimao with the 2012 car. Uh, with the old engine, that was also really impressive. Um, but then in Abu Dhabi, I drove the World Championship uh, car, and that was even more impressive. And that was really amazing. You can really feel that we have a good car, and we also had a good car last year. And um, yeah, it was was just an amazing experience. And this year, um, I'm testing even more. I'm testing for Force India. I'm testing for for us and. Um, it's nice to, to have more time in the car. I think it's no secret, every, every race driver played computer games and played Formula One, and it was the same for me. So I played also in, in the past Formula One, day and night. And, <laughs> and um, yeah, I always enjoyed it. You know, the tracks, they are really, really close to the real track. So the layout and everything is really similar. The emotions in the, in the real car are different, but um, I would say, the computer games, they are getting really close. And also if you change, like set up things or break balance, um, you can feel it in a computer game and that's 
That's amazing. Well, certainly, I think it was very impressive. Mainly stood out for me in Austria, the way that the, the corners with the off-camber and the on-camber, you can definitely feel in the front of the, the car through the steering wheel that it changes quite a lot with the different cambers. Um, and I think that for me was quite impressive because you rarely see that in a game. Um, and I think it gave me a real good immersion. And I think, you know, probably saw me concentrating quite hard just to put a good lap together. And I think it was a really nice experience. In the real car, when you're trying to put the power down and then the front's always a little bit difficult and the rear tires are starting to go away, I think that was really nice in the game. Um, when I say nice, it's difficult. Um, but it really gives a good realistic uh, part of the game that is definitely like real life. But what I like from F1 2015 is the way you can feel the engine power of the new hybrid and stuff like that, you know, the way that in the real car you can put the throttle down if you come on too quickly, the wheel spin comes but then it doesn't re-engage. And I could feel that very easily in, uh, in F1 2015. And I think that's, everything's getting closer to, to reality and I think this is another step closer, certainly. Now you have to be wary of the, that low speed uh, energy the engine's got where it can just spin up the rear tyres. Um, but it's, to drive a, an engine with a lot of torque is fun because you, you can break the traction but it's, it's quite controllable. And um, so you don't feel in the game that it's you know, this beast to drive that's going to snap and bite you at any moment. But it just lets you know that you've got that, the chance to spin the rears up um, if you're a bit too aggressive on the throttle. Whereas the last game was all about winding it up and keeping the momentum, um, which was very much in line with where the old engines were. So, you know, that's because of the shift in regs, it's changed the gameplay as well. Hi, I'm Toby Sowery. Started off karting, as uh, most of the F1 drivers have done, at about the age of eight. And we spent about, about nine or 10 years karting. Um, won many championships at club level, national level. Um, did some world final events, uh, European events. Last year, uh, we bit the bullet and jumped into cars. And we did quite well. We entered an F3 championship. Managed to win that with two rounds to go. And then we did another South Asian championship named MRF, um, just to keep ourselves in the seat over the winter. <laughs> Again, we managed to win that, so uh, I think it's becoming more of a career route now than anything. This is a massive leap forward in terms of the braking dynamics. Um, you do have to have that natural progression of bleeding off the brake just to stop it locking up. And I mean, the locking up in this does put you off quite a lot, which it does in real life. So in order to really, really nail that corner, it's quite key just to hit the brake and bleed off it, which is, for a game, amazing. If you slam down the gears, it over revs the engine and does damage, as well as it, it puts the car Oh, it, it throws all the weight forward as well to make the light rear, which will mean it will oversteer a lot. Um, and I know previous games in the past, especially racing ones, you can slam the gears down and it won't happen if you just sit there bouncing off the limiter. But in this, it will make the car swap ends, which is another aspect of real life driving that you have to bring in. Throttle application is tricky as well, which it is in a race car, there's so much power and no traction control. If you're too heavy and aggressive with the throttle, you'll get the oversteer coming out of a corner. Um, if you're really hard on the brakes and turn in aggressively, again, you'll get the uh, oversteer. And you can get away with it, but again, it's the same as a race car. There's a, there's a fine balance between what you can get away with and what will put you into a barrier. Most games, there's no really alteration with, obviously, the more speed you carry, the more downforce. But I mean, you can feel that high speed, low speed in this, in this game big step from the last time I was in doing any kind of development work. It was a joy to drive and um, I didn't want to stop. <laughs>